Hey what is up everyone, welcome back to a brand new Roblox Studio video. My name is Floppy and in today's video we're going to be going over how to add multiple spawn points in Roblox Studio. So this is an incredibly easy system and is very basic to do, so without further ado let's begin. Now with spawn points, what a spawn point is, is basically an area where the player is going to be spawning. Often there is a number of spawn points in a game, I mean for example in a simulator you'd maybe have multiple spawn points if you've got quite a large amount of people that can be in a server, but I mean it really doesn't necessarily matter how many spawn points you have, you could have one spawn point and you'll have the same amount of players, you could have five spawn points but you have the same amount of players, it's just how you want your players to be um, positioned around your spawn area or around the map where your spawn areas are. Anyway, so to insert a spawn uh, point here, just like we have on the base plate, on default when you load into a base plate, this is your main spawn point right here, usually located in the center of your base plate, and this is gonna be your main spawn point. So for example, if we had to just go play this now, we would load somewhere around in this square here, and it doesn't, it won't be center, it may be over here, it may be over there. Anywhere in the square is where we are going to be spawning. So we could have it like that, and then it gives you a very limited area on where, where you're able to spawn, because it will not spawn you anywhere outside this area right here. So if we had to go click on play, for example, now, you're able to see we're gonna spawn right on top of the cube, simply because that is our spawn area. But if we had to go and make it extremely large, for example, like that, you're able to see, it doesn't really necessarily matter what shape it is, but you're able to see that we kind of spawn in the you know, bit of an odd position, not necessarily center, not exactly over there, but just kind of randomly in the square area here. But anyway, that is if you already have a spawn point there and an easy way to get another spawn point is to simply duplicate it by going Control D or right clicking and then duplicate and then you can just kind of drag it to where you would like. Now what pe people often do is, um, and actually something I used to do when I first started Roblox Studio and didn't know much about it, I just used to go to the toolbox and then right here by the trending or the essential is the neutral spawn and that is verified by Roblox to just specifically put on the toolbox by Roblox right there. So you, you can also grab a spawn point from there, but you can also go over here to the model tab and then you can go and click on spawn and that will also insert another official spawn point. So there are many different ways on how you can get spawn points. And uh, I mean, you can get one from the model tab, you can get one from the toolbox, or you can simply duplicate the one you currently have. But let's say you went and removed and lost all your spawn points, then you would use the, either via the model or in the toolbox. Now with spawn points, they're not the best looking thing. And you know, it's not really something that you want to be laying around in and around your game. So to make them pretty much invisible, all you need to do is simply drag them below the ground. You can go and remove the transparency and the decal. I'm pretty sure there's a decal on them. Yeah, there's a decal there and just change the transparency. But for me, I find the easiest thing to do is simply just to take them slightly below the ground. Now you can see if I go and lift it up one little bit, you're able to see we can still see the decal, but the main part is gone. But what I like to do is take it just one more below the ground and my stud movement is on 0.1, making me have a nice, smooth or um, shorter, uh, uh, more of a variation on how far I can actually move apart. But anyway, I like to have it below the ground because then it's not visible. But now you may say, okay, it's below the ground, they're gonna spawn in the ground. That's not the case. You will spawn above ground, but simply because it's so close, it doesn't make any difference. So you're gonna spawn right there. But I mean, for example, if you had to go and put your spawn points down here below the base plate, then yes, the player is going to spawn in here and it won't be fun because the person's below the map where we actually want the player to be on the map. So if I had to go and put these um, uh, spawn points right there and we had to go click on play, you're able to see that now I join back into the base plate just like that. And now just to show where we actually are, I'm gonna insert a part. And now where's my spawn points there? Okay, there is that one there. And then that kind of marks something and then that just kind of shows you that there is a spawn point there. So you can see, I remember I was having a, I think it was about four spawn points. So obviously I was chosen randomly to spawn on this spawn point right here. Now how spawn points works are, you're not gonna be set to a specific spawn point or a specific spawn location, as they like to call it. It's all gonna be completely random. One moment you could land on um, this spawn point here, you could next moment land on that one, but every single time you die or you rejoin the game or load into the game or whatever, you will load on these spawn points. You won't randomly load over there on the other side of the map or over 
over there or something. You're just gonna be loading in on these spawn points right here. That is basically how you can do it. You don't necessarily need to have four, you can have as many as you would like. Um, but basically, going back to the chances here, with if we had two spawn points here, we would have a 50% chance of landing or loading in on that one a single time and another 50% on this time. So it's kind of like a 50-50 chance of which one you actually spawn on. So that is how you can actually go and insert spawn points inside of your Roblox game. And hopefully that has kind of given you a little bit more clarification on how spawn point works and what you can actually do to them to make them a little bit less visible and make them a little bit more precise. Alrighty, well that is pretty much it here. Um, I think we covered literally everything that there is on spawn points. So hopefully that has given you a little bit more of a idea on how they work and how you can maybe make them a little bit more invisible. They are still there, you've got multiple spawn points, but they're not there. And hopefully this has kind of given you a little bit more clarification on how they actually work and what you can actually do with your spawn points to make it the best it possibly can be. If you guys are a little bit lost and you're needing a little bit of assistance with these spawn points or spawn locations and you can't get them right and you're spawning all over the show, feel free to create a ticket to my Discord server and we can happily help you out. But anyway guys, that is going to be it here for today's video. If you did enjoy, I'd appreciate it if you do consider subscribing to the channel, turning on the notification bell and also do consider liking the video, I'd really appreciate it. But anyway guys, have an amazing rest of your day and I'll see everyone in the next Roblox Studio video.